Okay, so here's kind of a fun video. I wouldn't take it too seriously, but I'd take it a little seriously, maybe. Uh, I don't know. It might help you, or you might just think it's stupid. Either way, whatever. This is something I, I wrote a long time ago, like a few years ago. Um, it's kind of sardonic, but it it was the attitude that I needed to get through the day. So, here we are. The benefits of depression. Number one, you are equally miserable no matter where you are, so it doesn't really matter where you are. If you're at work or at home, stuff in traffic, Stuck, stuff in, stuff in traffic, stuck in traffic, or sitting in a meadow, you will be equal, equally miserable no matter what. Doesn't matter where you are. So, work doesn't seem so bad anymore. That party you don't want to go to doesn't seem so bad anymore. Because you feel like crap no matter where you are, so it doesn't matter where you are. <laughs> I don't know. Number two. You will attract other depressed people to sit around with and have cynical, pessimistic, and nihilistic conversations with. And by doing this, it will make you both feel like you're smarter than everyone else and part of some exclusive conspiracy. This... This is a phenomenon I have experienced experienced many times. Very much so. It's very true. Um, anyways. Uh, number three. You save money. You never feel like going out and doing anything. And it's kind of hard to spend money if you don't leave your house. So... <laughs> I don't know. Um, number four, your thinking is so negative, you're prepared for the worst outcome in every single situation. Also, since you're prepared for the worst, when anything less than the worst happens, it's so much more better because you totally weren't expecting it at all. And if the worst does happen, I mean, you'll be prepared, so. Depression. For the win. Okay. Um, number five. Your dark sense of humor will be at its finest. Morbid jokes, black humor, sarcasm. Bring it. Number six. You'll find out who your real friends are. After refusing to talk to people for months, refusing to go out, pushing everyone away, constantly complaining, being super negative, um, moody, just maybe even out, um, lashing out at others over the stupidest petty shit. I mean, your real friends will stay there with you. They will stick through with it, with you. They will, they will be there for you. They'll, they'll understand that you're just stuck in a pitfall and it's just their job to support you and deal with it, you know? And if they leave because you're too negative or you complain all the time or you, you're not fun, then they're not a good friend. Um, number seven, you are, you are able to understand other depressed people and you know how to make them feel understood. Because you know exactly what they're going through. You know exactly how they feel. So you'll be able to sort of mirror that to them. And they'll feel like, wow, this person actually understands me. And by doing that, you could probably save lives. I'm not even exaggerating. You could probably save people's lives. Um, yeah. So those... Are the benefits of depression.